just wanted to bring that to you. We're going to probably revisit that later on um, at the 10.30, around 10.30, between 10.30 and 10.45. Miss DeAndre should be in here, and uh, we're going to be talking about little gay, uh, Lady Gaga tonight. And I really wanted to get on this topic because um, I've been hearing more people, um, you know, as I, you know, go out to the clubs or just, you know, talk to different people or just meet different people that have um, had, that were formerly, like, Lady Gaga fans, how a lot of them are starting to be turned off about, you know, how she kind of puts the gay community out there. And I wanted to touch on that topic because, um, we as as a as the gay community, a lot of people um tend to take advantage of us because um, we 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 are in a position to where we we tend to have more disposable income and the thing about the gay community is like a lot of us run the fashion industry we we, we run the entertainment industry, and the thing about it is it's like uh, we have a lot of extra income because a lot of, you know, a lot of gay men, but people real, you know, we don't have, you know, some of them, like many of us don't have kids. We don't have, you know, um, a lot of mouths to feed. Usually it's just us that we're taking care of. So a lot of people try to uh, cater to our community, and they try to uh, take advantage of us because they know that we have that, that, spook, that uh, disposable income, and, you know, we're that type of people, we, when we support somebody, we support people. And I know a lot of people are now starting to catch on to Lady Gaga, and they see how um, she really panders more, if anything, towards gay men. And it's like one of those things, like when, when you see her out, we're like her slaves, like especially on her videos and stuff like that, we're her little slaves or her little, little I don't know what you would call it, but it's just one of those things like to where um, it's, it's almost like when you see her, it's always it's like she has to make like some big statement, you know, well, about gays. Like to me, it's just like she's putting us all out there like we're freaks, and I'm sorry. I don't identify with that. To me, I'm I'm just me. I'm an everyday hardworking man, you know, I'm, you know, I just I don't identify with that. You know what I'm saying? So it's one of those things to where she's she's putting out the gay community, the LGBT. Well, she's not even representing them. You know, it's just it's just like to me. I think it's a marketing ploy, and I think that you know it's sad that a lot of people have not caught on to that. And I know a lot of you know I know the girls. A lot of them went out to see her when she was here in concert. Uh, I was wanting to say that was like last summer she was here, and a lot of people was really turned off by her. Like um, a, one friend of mine was talking about how he went to the concert and after he went there he was just done. Like they said she's she's a mess. She's real preachy. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like she's real. I don't Does know. Not, can it's, you it's, can you clarify for me the preachy part? What you mean by that? Well, when I say by preachy, like she's. She came here telling us, yeah, you guys need to do this and you guys need to do that. And it, it, it was just like one of those things that she was kind of like talking down to like like the, the gay man here. And she was just like, it, it was like she was like standing on a soapbox, like trying to preach to everybody. Now, I didn't go to it. I didn't go to the concert, but from what I heard, that's just how she came across to people. And it was like really offensive to some people. And it really wasn't what they thought it would be. You know really? what I'm saying? Like, I, I just, I don't know. Like, to me, I, I just, I've never been able to put my finger on it, but I just, I've never really been able to get on the Lady Gaga bandwagon. I, just, well, I, just, I, I think that it's, able a, to do that. it's definitely a select group of people that are her following because of her outlandish, um, I don't know if outlandish is the proper term, her artistry is kind of out there for some people, and it definitely has its own select group of audience that it appeals to, but how all the gay guys, how all the 
LGBT community got stuck with that, I'm not sure. But well, the thing about it is, like they say, that she's like really unique because she came from New York and, and she was a part of the party scene. And a friend of mine kind of explained it to me. Um, he was telling me how the reason why where that comes from when you see her in these like these these different like outfits that she puts together and stuff like that. She says that's a part of the quote unquote party scene that is in New York, which is not really big here in the Midwest, but you see more of the like real flashy outfits which kinda of, like brings forth the originality of that person or the individual. It's kinda of like I don't want to say it's a step under the drag scene, but it's just I, I like, follow you though. I see where you're going with it. Yeah, and, and, but you say it's not really as big as it used to be, though. Right. But it's just one. Of, it's just one of those things where it's just it's a particular thing, and I guess that's probably why I can't really get into it because I'm more. I mean, and you know how the scene here is in Indianapolis. It's more conservative. It's not really liberal here. Right. You know what I'm saying? We we have we have several like gay clubs here, but even the like this city's conservative in general. Even the gay scene is conservative, so you don't really even see. A lot. Or it is that loud? Yeah, if you see that here in that, if somebody come out to the club looking at food, your ass is gonna get talked about, like here. You know what I'm saying? As if you, like, versus if you go to New York or you go to a bigger city, that's probably something that's in the norm. But if you come here looking like that, honey, the girls are gonna talk about your ass like a damn dog. I'm gonna keep it real with you. Yeah. So, I guess that's the difference between, like, you know, uh, the scene here or in the Midwest, which, you know, the Midwest is more conservative anyways versus, like, you know, on the East Coast in general. You know what I'm saying? So right. um, I guess I kind of understand why she dresses like that in those outfits now, now that he broke it down to me. But still at the same time, I just – I even though that's her way of expressing herself, I kind of think she takes it to the extreme. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you have you have heterosexual people, which I really think she's actually more straight. I just I just I don't buy the fact that she's bisexual. I don't buy that. But you have heterosexual people that support the gay community, but they don't feel like they have to come out and be all outlandish and have to always make a statement about it, or always sure. have to put themselves out there or make the whole community look like a like a bunch of freaks. You, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of how, that's where I stand at with it. Yeah, but you if we, um, and I don't know, how much do you think, and I know this, I hope, well, some might think I'm comparing apples to oranges, but how much do you think that she really has in common with, let's say, Madonna of the 80s and 90s? Because Madonna was considered as out there and as, Outlandish and just push the risque factor all the way. Yeah, and you're right about that. But I guess what what really bothers me more about about her is that uh, she she's not original. Well, and I guess you could say the same thing about. And I, I can't wait to uh, DeAndre get in here because I know she has um, a opinion on this. Mm-hmm. But like to me, like you can almost compare Nicki Minaj like versus um, Little Kim because a lot of people said that you know she's trying to be like Little Kim. So I guess it's one of those things like you know, like Lady Gaga. I don't think that she's really. I don't think she's. I, I guess my biggest problem with her, she's not original. And then on top of that, I don't think that she is uh, that's what I'm looking for. She's not genuine. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think she does shit for like shock value. She doesn't do it because that's her you know what I'm saying? She 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 does stuff to get shock value and she does it she 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 does not like a real I don't wanna say authentic uh Genuine's a better word. I, I just I don't think that she's really genuine about what she does. You feel what I'm saying? It's just like yeah, I, I follow what you're saying. A, a yeah, disingenuous you know, overtone. Yeah, 
You know what I'm saying? And I think she's using the gay community, especially gay men, as her crux. You know what I'm saying? And she's she's doing that, and a lot of people don't realize it, you know. And to me, like, what else can you do? Like, I mean, you've done all this crazy stuff. Honestly, I think she's going to be a fad, and I guarantee you in the next three, four years, she's just going to be one of those people that she's a have been. And I, and I can almost say that about Nicki Minaj because I think, like, right now, they're both, like, in the limelight, you know what I'm saying? They're here, there, and everywhere. But I think you give them about three or four more years, then I think their fame is going to be going out the window because one thing I, I always say is, you know, the original's always going to stand. But the, the carbon copies that come after that, they're not going to be – they're not going to be relevant. I just that's just how I feel about it. You feel what I'm saying? Sure. I mean, and a lot of times, the people that they try to emulate or try to be like so hard, they don't give. You know what I'm saying? They don't give credit to. You know what I'm saying? They don't pay homage to them. You know, so you know it's just one of those things to where, you know, I it just she I just don't get good vibes off of her. I just to me, and I'm getting so sick and tired. Of people, especially you know when you walk to the gay clubs here in Indianapolis, I'm pissed off because I went to um, a couple weeks ago. Um, they had this drag show at a club here in Indianapolis. I'm not gonna say the name of it, but one of these um, queens here in Indianapolis, which she's which she's pretty pro- prominent here. You know, she gets up on stage and she starts preaching after the show, like, girl, I'm going to need you to stay on topic and stay on task because, first of all, I didn't, hear, I didn't come here to hear you preach to me and preach to the audience about who we need to support and why we need to support her. Now, first of all, she pissed me off because she got on stage talking about, you know, you know, all these people making these YouTube videos and this and the other against um, Lady Gaga. Y'all need to jump on the bandwagon. Y'all need to support her. And this, that, and the other, and blah, 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 blah. He said, it don't matter if you don't like her or not. You need to support her. Now, first of all, the last time I checked, I am an individual. Don't Nobody tells me who I should support, who I should not support, and why or why not, I, you know, I should support them or follow them. Because, first of all, just because she claims to be for the gay people does not necessarily mean that she's for the gay people. Okay? So all right. these little, little dummies walking around here, they don't have any you know, brains of their own that want to follow the damn, you know, Joneses. You know, they want to do everything that the damn Joneses is doing. I, I'm over that bullshit because, first of all, I'm an individual. You know what I'm saying? I don't want anybody trying to tell me who I should follow and why I should follow because, if anything, she's making all you motherfuckers look like y'all freaks. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's one of those things like – um I, I, I don't like people preaching to me and telling me because uh, I'm this way or that way. I have to follow this person or I have to fit this social standard or I have to follow. You know, I, I, I'm I'm not with that. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting so tired of people always trying to tell, you know, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I'm trying. I'm tired of always trying to fit, you know, in a box. Well, you know, I just want to be. Busy. Fortunately, that seems to be the way of the world. They try and classify everybody in a box. It seems like. Yeah, I mean that's true. I mean, and I don't know. Like sometimes I kind of feel like that as a black male too. I kind of feel like you know people expect you or expect me to be a certain way or to hang out with a certain group of people or listen to a certain type of music or wear my clothes a certain type of way because I am black or, you know what I'm saying, or I need to act this way or, you know, I can't be educated because I'm a black male, this, that, and the other. It's just like I, I don't like people trying to tell me or try to place me in a box, you know, and I guess that kind of pisses me off too. I've always been that type of person where um, I like to prove people wrong. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, right. I, I always try to go against the stereotype. You know what I'm saying? And it's it, it kind of like gets tiresome sometimes because you know I don't I get tired of people like in society always trying to place me in a category or in a box or 
they have like a certain expectation of me when they meet me. You know what I'm saying? And it's just one of those things. I guess that's kind of the reason why Lady Gaga kind of pisses me off a little bit because it's like she's a, she's encouraging all these negative stereotypes that are out here about gay people. And to me, if you were for the gay people, you wouldn't be perpetuating all this negativity. You, I mean, you see what I'm saying? And I guess that's the, that's the biggest thing that bothers me about her. Like, you have this huge platform to where you can make a difference, but you don't want to make that difference. Right. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's it's just one of those things, like, I mean, because I know, like, you are not necessarily a stereotype either. That's true. And, you know, I am an an openly gay man that lives in southern Indiana and works in a law enforcement-oriented career, which tends to be a boys club. And, you know, hey, there's a lot of, uh, lot of stereotypes to have to overcome there because they assume that you don't know how to handle it. Right. But we've all I guess we've all got our point to make at some point in time. 